I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made, trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though, to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Mm. I never met Grandpa Sam, but... I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are gonna last a lifetime. Mm hmm Am I gonna have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Shouldn't we be leaving? Just wanna get a shot of you, Dawn, then we can take off. What? Perfect. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are.
You're right, Dad, it's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish, how to build a fire. We found an old logging trail with deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's... That's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- Dad! Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me.